Hi, this is Ty. It's been a while since I've been putting a video together for you guys here, but I was moving some stuff around in the house. The whiteboard was clean and open on the wall with no obstructions. And frankly, I've had this question sitting on my desk for longer than I care to admit. It's a pretty simple problem type that I want to cover with you guys that I do not cover in any of the DVDs. It's a problem type that pretty much you'll only see on the very lowest levels of your distribution exams. But it's something that does stump people, mainly because of the question, the wording throws people off. They expect it to be a different type of question than it actually is. I'm going to go ahead and read it out for you here. It says, the question says, how many gallons of paint are required to cover the outside perimeter and the top of a cylindrical tank that is 28 feet high, whose diameter is 14.5 feet? Each gallon of paint covers 200 square feet of surface. Now, where this problem throws people off mostly right off the bat is when people get it wrong in their head what kind of problem it is. They hear how many gallons and they hear round tank. And they assume we're trying to figure out how many gallons are inside that tank. But it's not a tank volume problem. It's actually just a surface area problem. So all we're trying to do is figure out what we need to coat the outside of that tank. So again... We're not using cubic feet here with this problem. We're talking square feet, just like the flatness of this wall. We have to find out the square feet of two things. The square feet of the top of the tank, and then we need to find out the square feet of the wall around that tank, and then combine those two things. So that's what we're going to do in the problem. And again, the mindset, a lot of people, they think round. Think of it like a, a toilet paper roll. Nice, uh analogy for a water tank. <laughs> By the way, I got to point out the Sifu shirt here my daughter got for me. It's my first chance to bust it out in a video. It's spelt a little different with the H instead of just the S-I-F-U. There's two ways of pointing it both or spelling it both, but uh, my shirt is this way. So anyway, that's my new shirt. Not that anybody cares. <laughs> so anyway, what we got to do is find out the outside surface area of the outside of the tank and the top of the tank. Let's start with that. What do we know in this problem? We know that the diameter is 14 and a half feet. Remember the diameter is the distance across a circle. So from one side of that tank to the other side of that tank is 14 and a half feet. And we know the height of that tank is 28 feet high. So we know that from the ground to the top of that tank it's 28 feet. And that's all we need to know to solve the problem, other than a couple of constants. You know how I'm always talking about memorize the contents, uh, constants, put them on flashcards, beat them in your head. We're going to use a couple of those here. First thing we're going to use, area equals diameter squared times 0.785. Now that's the area of a circle. We're talking square feet of that. We do know the diameter is 14 and a half feet. So the area, the top of the tank is pretty easy to figure out. It's diameter squared, so it's 14.5 times 14.5 times that constant, 0 0.785 times 0.785. And our area of the top of the tank, just by multiplying 14.5 times 14.5, times 0.785 is going to be 165.05. That's the top of the tank. Now we got to find out the distance around the tank. Now to solve that, it's just a rectangle. Again, like I talked about before, we're going from a round tank, but all we're trying to do is open that thing up and do the flat surface of it. So if you were to take the outside of that tank and unroll it, this is what it would look like. It just look like a plain old rectangle there. We know that it's 28 feet high from the bottom to the top. And the circumference, the distance around the top of the tank is what we have to solve to figure out how long this is. So if you were to cut this tank right here and unroll it, the length would be the distance all the way around. So we're going to go back to that circle problem and our constant again, circumference. 
equals pi times diameter. Pi is 3.14. We know diameter is 14.5. So your circumference is going to equal 3.14 times 14.5. And your circumference, the distance around that tank, is going to be 45 0.53 feet. Now, the surface area of a rectangle is just length times height, or excuse me, height times width, or whatever you want to call this here, right? We're going to multiply those two sides. So you're going to multiply 28 times 45.53, and what you're going to get is 1,274.84. So now we've got the two things we need. We've got the square surface of the side of the tank. We've got the square surface of the top of the tank. And we just need to add those two things together. And see how low I'm getting here. 1,439.89. And that would be square feet. We know that one gallon of paint covers 200 square feet. So then we just divide that by 200. 1,439.89 square feet divided by 200. I'm going all over the board here. And it is 7.2 gallons. You don't need to see that. 7.2 gallons. But since you can't buy 0.2 gallons, you have to buy the next size up. So your answer to this question how many gallons of paint does it take to cover the outside and top of that tank? Eight gallons. Again, this is something that you'll see on the lower level distribution exams. If you're taking those, make sure you're somewhat familiar with it. And um, I hope that helped. It's nice putting something together for you guys. It's been a little while. Have a good day.